but it won't stop the fact that the Chinese government wants to bring workers here, destroy our wage system, destroy our wage system. It won't stop the fact that they want to take over our ports and get our resources for free. And get our resources for free. The Chinese government. The Chinese government. So far they've shipped a $200 million worth of iron ore out of this country without paying for it. Chinese government. Without paying for it. Chinese government. And I don't mind standing up against the Chinese bastards and stopping them from doing it. And I'll be doing that. Chinese government. And I'll be doing that. Chinese government. But I'm just telling you, I'm not going to let their tactics of bluster and trying to have a go at people in this country stop people from defending our national assets. Chinese government. From defending our national assets. Chinese government. And I'm, I'm saying that's because they're communists, because they shoot their own people, they haven't got a justice system, and they want to take over this country. And we're not going to let them do it. Chinese government. And we're not going to let them do it. Chinese government. Because they're con con communists, because they shoot, shoot, shoot their own people. Because they're con con communists, because they shoot, shoot, shoot their own people. I want to take over this country. Con con communist. Chinese government. And I want to take over this country. Because they're con con communist. And I want to take over this country. Chinese government. Con con communist. And I don't mind standing up against the Chinese bastards and stopping from doing it. And I'll be doing that. And I'll be doing that. Chinese government because they're con con communists. Bring the Prime Minister to account as to why the Australian government allowed the lease of the port of Darwin to Chinese communist government owned companies. And I'll be doing that. Bring the Prime Minister to account. Prime Minister to account. Chinese government. Chinese communist government owned companies. Chinese government. For the last five years I've stood as the last Australian trying to stop the Chinese government owned companies gaining control of my company and the port at Cape Preston in Western Australia. Chinese government. The Barnett government has done all that it could to pressure us to hand our port to the Chinese, Chinese government controlled companies. Why doesn't the Australian government allow Chinese state owned companies to take control of crucial assets of the Australian economy? Chinese government.